welcome back to Computer Games, and today we are doing a World Guild War battle. We got our OP defense here with 17 wins and 18 losses. We're gonna put it to the test. Now before we start, if you haven't liked and subscribed to our channel, please do, we'd appreciate the support. Okay, let's go check this defense out. Alright, here we go. Man, this is going to be a bit scary, but let's go! G G G G G unit. G unit in the house. G unit. All right, we did bring in the Arnold. Okay, we're gonna go extort him. Oh, but he got really good RT, so that's what's trapping it. I mean, the Arnold didn't do a lot of damage, but I feel like we have to snipe this Mo Long right here, and then we'll just need to survive it. We do have the Molly tanking this mm, for Mayan. Um, yeah, let's put a defense break on him because his damage generally increases with his defense, right? As you know, it's just the same as a lot or most of the Archangels, anyway. Yeah, okay, so it's definitely a trap. Um, yeah, he's got a good artifact on that Mo Long. But yeah, he's on. He's on violent. He's not on vampire yeah okay well we're waiting for our cooldowns to go through here but yeah it's a good thing that we actually have the molly tanking this for mine or else he could have easily shifted target to the mo long earlier and then once the mo long dies right then it's pretty much gg because we can't we don't have destroy we need molly to tank him and we need Arnold and Mo Long to do the damage. Okay, can we kill this Molly? Alright. Yeah, we had to play around with the attack bars there. Just make sure you know the Molly doesn't cut in between our damage monsters. Uh but yeah right now that's definitely a violent for Mayan as well. Yeah. Love the trap defense man. Okay, just a little bit more. Um, the thing with Vermeyan, right? He doesn't have a heal. I think he's the only Archangel who doesn't have a heal. But he does do a lot of damage, by the way. Okay, we got the Theo, Ashir, and the Sagar. Well, actually, the Wind and Bison. We'll need all the defense breaks. Oh man. That's the thing with this combo, right? <laughs> If it works, it's good, but if it misses, it can be very dangerous. Oh man. Yeah, I mean, we missed the attack bar reduction to Saga too. And now here comes the Ishir with the Violent Proc, and then the Theo with the Violent Proc. Okay, we got... Oh, is this Ishir gonna solo us? We need a defense break, um, hmm. but I feel like we'll just you know, increase attack bars, Maelstrom, reduce attack bars again, and then slow him. Now I'm going to put the defense break, the defense break, oh come on, and he gets a virus, <laughs> yeah I was thinking defense break, damage, S2, finish the sheer. No, that did not happen. Oh man, but this is sheer though. Oh man, I mean nowadays, right? I mean the RNG can get really crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now, wow, you got a guardian monkey. I like it. So we're gonna go throw our atlas stone here. We're gonna forbidden god there the beta. Okay, two turns for that beta and the Zimze. But that's fine. Wow, so much heal coming coming from this beta now, huh? Mmm. Yeah, the thing is I didn't bring a destroy monster. So uh 
yeah, well, he doesn't have destroy either, so this is going to be a long drawn fight. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna keep working on the beta, because whatever happens, if we don't kill this beta, it's just. Yeah, she's just gonna revive. So. Yeah, I'm playing. Oh, but this. Perna, though. See, every time the Perna moves, he she also heals the beta. So. Man, I mean, if I brought the destroy Skogul, it could have been better. I think. Yeah, because look at that. I mean, we forbidden gather. And then Molly. I mean, that's a beta. Is healed by the Perna. Like back to 75%. I don't know which artifact this guy has, but. It seems like. Minus wind artifact on them? I don't know. Oh, full health again. Okay, well, we're gonna Forbidden Calder again. I'm expecting this beta to do her S3 Serenity. So we have Knowledge again. So we're gonna Forbidden Calder again. Oh, see what I mean? This Perna, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's such a good build, isn't it? If it <laughs> Okay, so again, huh? One eternity later. Oh, it's been like ten minutes. <laughs> the draw button's up. Yeah, I'm gonna We're gonna draw this. I mean Yeah, it's just impossible. I mean we're we're back to square one. Pretty much. Again, if we had the destroy on the Skogul, could have been a lot better. Um, but yeah, it's just not working very well. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Um, we got here a Wusa, a Kinky, and that's an Odin. The main threat right now, I'm thinking, is this Odin, right? Because if Odin snipes the Nigong, then it's going to be very dangerous for us. So, let's go kill the Odin. Okay, nice Valen Pro. Now we're getting the violence. I mean, but then earlier it was just so crazy. Um, but, yeah, without the Odin, the next threat, of course, is this Kinky. And you got the Wusa here with the sustains and everything. But we do have our Dominic doing a lot of damage, which is pretty good. And then now we're going to play around with the immunity before we... Or rather, we make sure we have immunity before we attack this Kinky. Oh my gosh, look at this Kinky go. Man, Kinky so good. So nice. But fortunately, our account is not blessed for Kinky. Hopefully, we'll get him. We'll do a summon session at the end of this video, by the way. So let's go to a summons later. Okay, here we go. Rabbit's agility, a bit tricky here. Um, amputation magic, can we kill? Arr, okay, no kill on that bigger. Oh no, we got no heals. Oh man. We gotta kill the bigger. Oh, but then we got the defense break on the Carcano. Oh man. Man. This guy is so OP. I mean Yeah, we thoroughly missed I don't know if we missed a crit on the bigger, but the bigger did survive. Put a defense break on the Carcano. And then yeah. Can we kill? Oh man, we can't even go through the shield though. Oh uh, no, no attack power buff. Yeah, that's the thing with the Dova. I mean, he doesn't put the attack power buff on low health or on the teammates. So, oh man. Uh, OP Kawei. Okay, next up, we got more of that Theo, Molly, and Sagar. Let's put it to the test. Sagar, also known as the Wind M. Bison, of course. We put in our talk here to thank him. 
and all the while we do have again our Dominic here. Um, Dominic, I'm thinking we should go for the Theo because Theo is the Elemental King, and if this guy, yeah, goes crazy, oh no! Come on, Talk, you can do it. <laughs> okay, Talk. All right, thank it. Yeah, we gotta bring this Theo down. Okay, uh, heal block on this Wind and Bison. We do have the Riley. I, I really like this combo. The Zingze. Oh no, that's the Zingze. Well, you can replace the Dominic with the Zingze, I think. Right? But then Dominic is just so good. I mean, he doesn't. You don't really build him on crit rate, right? Just a lot of attack and HP. Yeah, um. With the Theo down, I think we're pretty good. Although we don't have destroy runes, but you know some players do put the Dominics on um, destroy runes, which is generally a good idea. Just like the fight earlier, I mean, if we had destroy runes on, say, the Skogul, <laughs> yeah, man, that 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 fight was quite the battle. I, it was really long, drawn. But well built on that, uh, that, that was a Zingze and the, the beta, right? So, okay, we got three versus one of the Molly, and while we're killing the Molly, we got time for shout outs. Hello to Marcelo, Jose, Catro, Lianes, Rexy Cats. We got Death, Steiny5, Anat, Joe Mama, Abud, Max Norris, Sebastian Ways. We got Board Tank, Genocide, X. FSS board, Sashi, Austin Galen, Highest Killer, G Diva, Kyger F1, Zertic Madness, and KD. What's up, guys? And of course, to you, our G Unit. Okay, now this Molly, though. Again, no destroy, but we are waiting for the heal block coming from our Dominic. But she's just like so resistant. A few moments later. Still no heal block. But finally got up rock and killed her. Okay. This Odin with a Thessarian and that's a Riley. Normally the Thessarian is built on say revenge, right? So first to kill is of course the Odin. Wow, so much damage coming from the Thessarian though. Okay, come on. Yeah, that's good that the Odin just used all of his knowledge, so now at least we don't have to kill him again after he revives. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> this crazy Riley just put all that knowledge on him, right? Well, what do you know? Theo proven he is still the Elemental King. Oh, man. Yeah, that's why we got the Guardian skin on ya, brother. Theo Mars, definitely one of the best units and the number one unit you should be building when you're in early game. Yeah, well, of course, Theo with the Vero, the Fran, and all that. But Theo, if you need a good damage dealer, Theo Mars is it. Because he is the Elemental King and he can pretty much, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, do a lot of damage to a lot of element, elements, I mean all elements generally. Okay, now, just don't... Okay, no cleanse on the defense break, and that's pretty Gucci. Nice finish from the Theo. Okay, well this is one of our favorite comps. It's the Mirene, Dova, and Lucian. Yeah, I mean it's the same Lucian, but see how much Amputation Magic does here. 20k oh yeah okay next up hmm yeah again unless the thing with the uh, Bulwark Emilia and Molong right I mean it's just really good the Skogul I don't know I guess it's very situational if you don't have an Emilia you can use like a Lulu Okay, 
And then if you don't have a Lulu, you should have a Lulu. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's a two-star monster, man. You can just summon those unknown scrolls. You can buy buy them at the shop. Second, awaken them. Build a Lulu, man. If you don't have the Bulwark, well, that's a different story. Um, yeah, because you, you do need the Bulwark in order to heal, right? In order to get and stack up on all that knowledge. Because he's just really good. Um, but if you don't have a Bulwark, you can approach it in a different way. Um, say maybe double sniper or like go for a cleave. Okay, now this is interesting because it's the twins with the Talia. Oh, no, no, that's the Martina, Shaina, and the Nana. And we're bringing in our water twins here. Of course, first of all, is the Shaina because the Shaina is the AoE damage dealer. All right, and then at the same time, we do have Molly to tank this Martina. But then the Martina, though, I mean, it's a tricky defense because if the Nana is able to defense break the water guys, then. Shaina would have just shifted targets and started working on say the Talia or the Sabrina and then yeah but we did bring in the Molly providing us with all that heal so oh man okay well that's it for our world guild war today thank you to Seretonina for your OP defenses now let's go summon all right Yet, yeah, it's a full auto team. It's really good. It's still our favorite. Finishing the Toa hard right now. Alright. Yeah, it's part of our ritual, right? Um, of course, we did get the pass for all the additional times two rewards. I mean, that's pretty much worth it. Okay, let's go evolve. Yeah, that's right. If you don't have the Lulu, you should have your Chacha as well. Yep, Chacha and friends, of course. It's, yep, stand by for that. More content coming that way. <laughs> Especially with the new meta. Okay, we're doing, we're gonna summon all these scrolls, starting with 55 mystical scrolls. I don't know. Um, Still waiting for the chong pong. Um, in terms of the cookie characters, cookie run characters. Overall, I don't know. I mean, they haven't really stood out. Like, yeah, like say the kinkies or like the um, what do you call this? The last collaboration with the Street Fighter monsters, right? I mean, I don't know, maybe they get a balance patch, we'll wait for it, um, so let's just summon, I mean, it's an SP button, it's been there for a while, and yeah, last chance to get your um, cookie run monsters. Yeah, please do leave a comment, we want to hear from you guys, let us know which one the best is for you, which one the best cookie run collaboration monster is in your opinion okay now we got lightning finally um yeah she overall she's good for um r5 or for for raid if you're especially if you're doing like solo raid right solo r5 nowadays it's much better because although of course bjr5 is still the fastest um okay Hopefully we get something. Okay, lightning. Tetra, definitely good. A good counter against Gianna, for sure. Yeah, that bomb's not gonna detonate as long as the Tetra's around. Oh man, all those scrolls. For how many lightning? I don't know, dude. Not so good. Oh yeah, don't forget about your Hall of Heroes, the Belita. Okay, finally, Lightning, Argon, yes, yeah, okay, it's okay, 
not exactly meta right now, but okay, we got the fire undying. Oh man, two lightnings in ten. That's good. Okay, let's go mystical scrolls. Five more. Five more. Nothing. Okay, we did clean up our monster box in time for all these elemental scrolls. Alright. Wind one. Why, are we, why did we choose the wind elemental scroll? Again, for Chongpong. Right? Um, I know you might, you guys are might. Man, you got, you're never gonna get Chompong. And I'm getting that feeling too. But I guess... Yeah, that's the thing with Summoner's War. I mean, summoning keeps us... Mm, excited. Every time we see lightning. Right? And I like... I like the saying, like... You know, happiness is priceless. Right? <laughs> Uh, espresso cookie. I don't know. Kind of underwhelming. You're giving away. Oh yeah, this that this one's kind of okay. Um, he increases attack power and critical rate. I mean, just no attack bar buffing or increasing. But yeah, I've seen a lot of some of my guildies use him actually. Oh hey, man! Nothing from the elemental scrolls as well. Okay, we got like nineteen light and dark scrolls, but first let's go do legendary summons. Ah, uh, food. Okay, new monster special summon button. Let's go, man. That's the. Older monster, Hypnomiao. Hypnomiao. Ah, uh, food. Usable, but yeah. Maybe they'll get some buffs. Okay, time for the Cookie Run Kingdom. No NB5. And. Okay, we got light. The light Medellin Cookie. With a family glory passive, commander's honor. Okay, and family glory is kind of interesting because it heals. Okay, all right, let's go. Come on, light and dark man, we want kinky. All attribute. Okay, we got the fire medallion cookie. I think the wind one's more useful. Oh, what? Okay, we got the dark medallion cookie, and that's good. The dark slayer with a defense break for three turns. That's very interesting. Three turn defense break. Just like the Annabelle, but no slow. And he attacks two times. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be pain. I'm thinking if we should summon the light and dark scrolls, but we did get how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. We got the dark Medellin cookie, which is. Yeah, collaboration monster, and of course also the light one, which is very interesting. But I feel like, you know, um, light and dark luck is on our side. Yeah, because what are the odds, right? Getting these guys, and this guy looks bad, looks badass, but silences every turn. Yeah, that's like Kumar. So you can CC someone, and then, yeah, I mean, you, like the main damage dealer, you can bring in someone to tank your your opponent, and then at the same time, you know, with that S2 
he'll keep doing AOEs. Okay, we got someone pulling the striker. Okay, um, I believe this monster special summon is gonna end soon, so um, let's do it. Let's go summon our LDs. Okay, there you go, we got lightning. Oh, that's probably our fourth Icares. Good, especially with the Molong. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. We got we we're doing like I don't know like fifteen, like eighteen light and dark summons. It's just so much pain every time you press it, and then there's no lightning. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but lightning. Oh, there's the. Every time you summon the LD. Yeah, come to us smart, right? He didn't put the 10 times summon on the Lion Dark. Because you're gonna be like, no, you gotta feel the pain. <laughs> Premium summons. No, oh, man, but Tian Lang, though. Yeah, Tian Lang, Kinky. Checklist. Yeah. Neptis not so much even. I mean more so the Tian Lang or maybe Ragdoll for RTA. Yeah. Ooh. Really? Wow. Last LD scroll. Dude, that was so bad. Oh man. Oh no, we're trying to chase some lightning here, but I feel like we should stop. And there you have it. Yep. Rip to 15 light and dark summoning scrolls or scrolls. Uh, but we did get another Icares, but yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with the LD Madalian cookies because they look good. And it's very interesting. We're gonna start building them together with the other LD units we got from the cookie collaboration event. All right, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more content. Have a great weekend ahead, and may the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one.